Hello everyone. This is the fourth video of a five part series of inventory management system. In the first video, I have provided the introduction of inventory management system, where all the services use their integration as well as the workflow is explained. In the second video, Azure storage account as well as function app is created and their integration for the blob trigger was done. And in the third video, SQL database is created the key vault as well as their integration with the function app. This step is performed. So in this video, I'll create a logic app, then create two tasks in it, one for HTTP trigger and another one for email notification and then update the function app so that an HTTP post request can be sent from function app once the SQL database is updated. So if you haven't checked the previous video, I would highly recommend to check those before going through this video. And for others, let's log into Azure portal and do the step-by-step -step implementation. I'm into Azure portal now. Let's look for logic apps and create a new logic app. Add. And I'll use the multi-tenant consumption. So that will be paper operation. Use the same resource group, which is RG project. And let's name the logic app as inventory notification 01 this is for Australia East and review and create and create so the deployment is done it was a quick creation go to resource And if I'll go to logic app designer, add a trigger here. This will be HTTP trigger. So look for requests. When a HTTP request is received, select. And now insert in another step, add an action. And this will be send an email should be from Outlook version two. Let's see. Use the send an email from outlook.com. I'll use my Gmail credentials here. And perfect connection is created. So, and I'll use a separate email address. And in the subject, I'll provide new inventory updated new products and quantity are updated now. Let's save this. And once we'll save it, and when we'll go to HTTP request is received, we'll get the HTTP URL. We'll use this URL quickly for sending the HTTP post. And now the next step is go to the same function app and add the steps to send an HTTP post once the SQL database is updated. So let's go back to our VS code. So now we'll notify using the logic app. And here we have to provide the logic app URL. So let's quickly go back to Azure portal, copy this URL and paste it here. And there will be a message like SQL database has been updated with a new inventory and it's going to use the application JSON. There are two things which we need to add here, which I forgot. We need to import requests and import JSON. And for the request, we need to add the same thing into requirements.txt file too. Because this should be installed as a dependency 
before this Python function is packaged. Let's save this, save. And these are the different logging exceptions, try and accept which are provided. So that if there is any issue, we should be notified for that. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go back to Azure extension and deploy it into Azure. Let's select the function app and overwrite it. This will start the cleanup as well as the dependency installations and then it will package it and deploy into Azure Functions. I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's done. The deployment is successful. As you can see, the succeed message is here. Let's go back to Azure portal and go to function app. And as I have already mentioned, if in case you don't see your function here, that means there is some issue with the function. It's the case now. So you don't see the function here. So that means you're missing out something and the deployment is not successful. You can't check anything. You can't do anything here. So let's troubleshoot. And I found the error. It was imports. <laughs> it should be import, not imports. Let's save it. Deploy again. The same function app. And overwrite it. I'll pause the video. We'll be back quickly. The deployment is successful now. Let's quickly check if we can see the Python function now. Perfect. We can see the function CSV files. Now click here, go to logs. And once it's connected, we'll upload a new file and then see if the whole workflow is working or not. Now let's quickly go to storage account. Containers. Data container, upload. And new one.csv. This time I have three entries uploaded here CSV file. Perfect. It's fetching the credentials. And the three entries are done. And everything seems successful. The whole function ran successfully because you can see the notifications sent successfully. So that means the whole workflow is working, but let's quickly check whether everything is correct or not. Let's go to SQL database first. Log into the SQL database using query editor. Select star from products table, my bad, star from products table and there are extra, now there are eight products. That looks good. Let's go back to our logic app. And we can see how many times it has triggered. I'll reduce the screen size. Yep, it is triggered once. You can see trigger history. Let's change it back. Okay. And finally, I'll open the Gmail. And here is my Gmail. I've received the email where the new inventory is updated, new products and quantity are updated now, which we were looking for. However, you can be more creative and based on your organization or your requirement, you can provide all those titles and the description. You can even provide what has been updated from the function app to here. So that looks good. And, and that's all for this video. Now we have created the Azure blob storage function app, SQL database, 
key vault and the logic app and everything else is working and the notification is being sent to the user. So in the last video, I'll be creating a Python Flask web application where there will be a inventory portal which connects to SQL database. So a user can go to that portal and check all the inventories and even look for the specific products there. Thanks for watching this video and follow the last video of this series now.